You've heard the boats, uh, the, the issues on the table, whether or not Atiku Abubakar can enter into the United States, whether or not he's able to pick Peter pit, Obi. And the presidency had said, look, they won't be distracted by the endorsement of Olusha Gombasanjo of Atiku for presidency in 2019. Are there greater issues for the APC to consider ahead of 2019? Now, I do not think that uh, APC should just close, you know, with the, the you know, with a wave of hand dismiss Atiku because Atiku is not a political toddler, and the issue of whether or not Atiku will get to the United States, I don't think is necessary in the light of what we are facing as a country. Anybody who has a visa issue can correct it, so I don't think that is a problem. Picking Peter will be as a running mate is also not an issue. What is an issue is the Nigerian people. We are going to be looking at corruption. We're going to be looking at the economy. We're going to be looking at security. We're going to be looking at the record, the track record of each of the candidates. Who presents a better agenda? In my opinion, President Buhari is by far better than, President, than the Vice President Atiku when it comes to the issue of integrity, anti-corruption, and even deliberate effort to make sure that we steer the ship of the Nigerian nation to a greater height. So that is what it is about. I don't think it is about America or it is about Peter Obi at the moment. Well, as it stands now, uh, the momentum in the race, if you are to go to the poll, these two men, Atiku Abubakar and Muhammad Obuwari, how would you assess the perception from the point of view of uh, an average Nigerian who is ready to vote? Right. This is my belief. Nigerians usually are patient people, but sometimes we want the new. Anytime somebody comes up, we tend to think that that person has a better agenda. I remember in 2015, it was the same thing. Now, when you bring these two people, you know, to, to four and try to measure which one of them has a better chance, I can give you my own understanding. For example, the entire North, President Buhari has the firm grip of the entire North. If you come to the Northeast, which happens to be where I'm coming from or where I came from, President Buhari has a track record of membership, followership, and support base. When you come to the central and northwest, President Buhari is by far better than Atiku. When you move, where President Buhari probably may have a little more challenge will be probably Plateau and Benue, and most probably Taraba. When you go to the southwest, I know that the southwest will better follow President Buhari, knowing that after four years, the, the apron or the battle will go back to them, than to stay with Atiku and having to wait for another eight years. If you go to the southeast, Quite a number of southeastern politicians are coming to APC. So, in a nutshell, I would say Atiku should be, you know, you know, dismissed. But I can tell you, going to 2019, it is going to be clear to Nigerians as we move forward that the person with better agenda for the Nigerian nation and the Nigerian people is nobody but President Buhari. And quickly, if I may get your uh, final thoughts on the program before I go to Mr. Maswagbo, my question will be. For the APC that came into power in 2015, promising change in basically every aspect of life, and in three areas specifically, they said that anti-corruption, uh, the issues of security and the economy. Do you think, just in 30 seconds, do you think that the APC has met up with the expectations of Nigerians? In anti-corruption, APC has gotten 80%. In the area of the security, there was a time we had a little hitch with managing crisis in the middle belt. But since then, the government has been able to steer the ship again to a better height. When it comes to the economy, even the doubting Thomas can attest to the fact that the economic recovery growth plan of the government is working. And so the fundamentals of our economy are functioning. And going forward to 2019, I believe that we have a better future with President Buhari than we have with Atiku. Thank you so much, Mr. Daniel Buala.